Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? It's so good to see you guys. I hope you're having such a great weekend so far. Thank you guys so, so much for being here on this Saturday afternoon. Ooh, it's good to see y'all. Hold on. There was a comment before I lose it. Whoa. Um, no mayo. I love that. We need a new intro for DD stuff. I totally agree uh, with the cokehead, crackhead replaced with like white claw, white claw. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to go and try and see if I can get any clip of Lushy that, that kind of fits the tempo kind of fits. If not, you know what? I'll do, I'll do it myself. I'll just like white claw, white claw. And I'm going to, I'm going to fix us a DD intro. I really like that idea. It's funny and it would work. <laughs> vodka cranberry <laughs> we will have fun with this Wegmans Wegmans I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do but but I'll I'll get nice and minty and come up with something funny <laughs> or try to anyway uh how are you guys uh I hope you're having a great day so far listen today on the agenda um, we're going to be watching Doherty Dozen content Ooh, that's right your girl Frenchie got us three videos edited down so they won't be super long. We've cut out some of the boring and um, all of the faces, put it that way. Uh, we only leave Lushy and Josh on this channel. Uh, that's the plan for today. And then for tomorrow, uh, we're going to talk about tomorrow already. Tomorrow, I found such an interesting video, uh, Just the Bells 10, talking about how they do not exploit their children on their channel. And it's like taking the, making the point of making that video, talking about how they do not, uh, I'm riveted. I couldn't even believe I found that video this morning. So tomorrow we're going to do another compare and contrast and it's going to be, uh, we're not going to be playing Lushy, but more explaining the way she's gone over every single, let's say medical condition and just whatever. We know every private bit of information about all of those kids. And then we're going to ping pong over again to just the bells and in uh, Heather's own words, explain to us how she's not exploiting the kids. It's, I just find her so genuine. Uh, I can't wait to watch that with you guys. That's going to be real fun. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me go back. Capricorn, happy birthday. I hope you're having a great birthday weekend. That's fantastic. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan. And for today, like I said, it's Dacherty Dozen. Um, a Dacherty Dozen family, uh, January is considered birthday month. They have a lot of birthdays. A lot of the kids have birthdays in January. And it's Jashi's birthday also in January. So after the tsunami of gifts that everybody literally just got, days ago, we're having a tsunami of shopping and a tsunami of birthdays and a tsunami of overspending. <laughs> Again, just literally not even a month later. It's insane. I, I, I mean, I couldn't believe what I was watching. I could because it's lushy, but I sort of couldn't. Capricorn NJ. Hey girl. Thank you for the super chat. Hi, FFG and girl gang. It's my birthday weekend. It's your, everybody's got a, oh my God, maybe January birthdays is like a big thing. What goes on nine months ago that people are boning a lot? Something has to happen. It's not Valentine's Day. Those are November babies. And as a November 1st baby, I'm very uncomfortable with that knowledge. Um, what happened nine months ago? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. But I guess, I guess Girl Gang is having a, a very birthday month as well. Well, happy birthday, Capricorn and Jay. You're celebrating by ice lake. That really sucks. I'm so sorry you have the Rona. I'm sorry I hadn't read that far ahead. Um, just chill, relax, enjoy your birthday in the way that you can this year, girl. Patricia burns your birthday also. Oh my God. First day of spring. Oh, that's what it is. Spring has sprung and so have the stiffies. I understand. Okay. Everybody loves spring. Winter is long. Mm-hmm. Ee, 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 ee maybe wedding anniversary months. Oh, that's a good theory too. I don't know what it is, but I mean, April, <laughs> April, <laughs> use extra protection in April, y'all. Cause like January babies is a thing. Julie. Hey girl. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, cause you know, she's watching. No, <clears throat> we're not, we're not even talking about her today. I didn't even want to bring her up that much. Have a great day, Julie. I hope you have a nice weekend. 
Uh oh, Patricia, you got pregnant on your birthday, April twenty second. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, that birthday sex is also a very real thing. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> well, yeah, spring has sprung, and so have the stiffies. Everybody likes to come out. Ooh, it's not so cold. It's spring. Boing, boing, boing. You know, it happens. It's a real thing. <clears throat> All right, y'all, let me get the tab. Let's get into this. Like I said, they're all edited down, so they're not too long. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. They changed where the buttons are on the stream yards. They're messing with my head today. Ooh, I found it. Okay. Here we go. So this is a uh, two videos in one. This is a day in the life vlog. We're following Lashi around for the day. And then uh, the, the makings of a crapperty board. And she's doing it live. And it's hectic. And Joshy comes in the kitchen. And he's just, he's, ugh, I, I, why do I hate him so much? I don't know. Let's get into this. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen, and this is a day in the life of a mom to 12 kids. 11 of my kids are in school right now. I have my little entourage, Harley, with me. She's my four-year-old. Um, and we are just running errands today, so I thought I would take you along. We're at the laundromat right now. I got to bring everything in. We got to run just some quick, fast errands. I have a meeting this afternoon uh, at one of the kids' schools. And um, what else we're doing today? It's Thursday, so we've got the usual activities and all that stuff, horseback riding. Uh, yeah, so let's go, but first, coffee. All right, it looks pretty empty, so that's good because I have a lot of laundry. Lots, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven baskets. Okay, okay, I, I hate that look at all those baskets. I, I uh, the anxiety is rising. I understand the logic of not doing the laundry at home because what's one machine going to do? You're going to be doing laundry at, constantly for the rest of your life. With the money that she has, honestly, why doesn't she just set up her own like laundromat? Why not buy like four washers, four dryers and have them all in the house? That's what I would do. I, I, I don't get it. There must be a reason. Is it can't just be the content. She could be filming the content in her house, you know. Why not just freaking buy the machines? I don't get it. Oh, Julia, Julia, that's a great question. How often does she do laundry like this? This is the second time in like what, a week and a bit that there's been a laundry day? <laughs> it's the septic system issue? Oh, God, they have a septic tank? Oh. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Oh, my God, move! Move, man! I've got whites, I've got darks, I've got like three loads, that's another dark. Got a whole load of towels. This washer can fit three to four loads. Industrial. And I've got an industrial load of bedding and then two more industrial loads of darks. Oh, look at the gain. I know gain when I see gain. Alushi, you're using the wrong kind of gain. I should be seeing the red bottle. <laughs> Why would you gain and not apple mango tango? What is wrong with you? You're so close to perfection here with laundry. So close and yet so far, whatever. Uh, listen, no shade to the septic system. I know some people have no choice. It's like that's the setup where you live, right? I've never lived with septic system in my life. Um, I've heard stories of people like getting your septic tank emptied and stuff. And as a non-septic tank user, that is so sickening to me. I can't even imagine it. Um, 
but that's neither here nor there. You know what I mean? Again, I, I understand there's some places that you have no choice. You, you live on the septic tank system. However, with the money that they have, they could definitely move to non-septic tank territory and have like four washers and four dryers. This is nuts. This, this is just nuts. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. She's so inconsiderate to others by taking a lot of the washers and dryers. I mean, disagree. It looks like a big place. I think there would still be a lot of like empty machines to use, you know? I don't, I don't think that's so like rude, you know? She's there on a morning, on a weekday. There's seemingly nobody else there. I think she's all right for that. If she went on the weekend though, then I would be like, you beach people only have to do the, or a lot of people who like work all week, let's say they only have the time on the weekend to do the laundry and there you are taking up 10 machines, jerk, you know? Alright, Harley wants the Gatorade. I really think she just likes to watch this machine. Yeah, you want blue Gatorade? Girl. Coffee. I want coffee. So we have about, this tells you how much time is left in your cycle of laundry. So give or take 30 minutes. I gotta get gas. And then I gotta get hard. This is so weird. I, when I was editing this, it was it felt like a fever dream. And I have a low-grade fever still. So it was like, is this a fever or is this that nuts? Why would you film the gas pump? Like, weird enough that you're pointing out the timer on a laundry machine. Like, are we born yesterday? My God, you see the time ticking down. I, everyone could figure out what that number on the corner of the washing machine was. Whatever. <laughs> I, you're filming a gas pump. This is content. She uploads like 10 times a day, but th this is what she's putting out. Filming of a gas pump. Oh my God. And on the other hand, then when she started filming the gas pump, I was like, I wonder how much it costs to fill up that gigantic thing of hers. Tax write off. Well, either way, it's tax write off. Like she, she's, she's writing off her gas. Let's just be real. You know, she doesn't need to film getting the gas that's just crazy geely thank you for the super chat happy weekend to you too oh no no costco on a saturday afternoon girl hell on earth are you are, like are you nuts you don't you don't saturday afternoon at costco that's just looking for problems if you insist on cost going on the weekend i say you wake up early and you hit the store when they first open in the morning it's the only way this is like if, if you go now you hate yourself and it is what it is Harley and I breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet. Okay, that's how much it costs to fill up the gas tank today. Okay, we got the medicines at Walgreens. Time to get some breakfast. Hi, can I have a sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich? and a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, please. Could I have a strawberry frosted donut, please? A large hot coffee with two creams and three caramel swirls, and a large iced coffee with two creams and three caramel swirls, please. That's it. Lushy needs a hot coffee and a cold coffee. Lushy needs all the coffee. but. Her too. It's like cookies in a cup, vanilla, uh, caramel swirls and stuff. Girl, that's not coffee. Oh, and I, I get it. Okay. Listen, I think Duncan for you guys or for you guys, for Americans is like Tim Hortons for Canadians. But you know what? I hate Tim Hortons. <laughs> be honest, America. Be honest. Now, don't, don't start with your America. Okay. Is, is Dunkin' Donuts trash? Be honest. Because we had a Dunkin' Donuts. My whole youth, there was a Dunkin' Donuts in NDG. Nobody ever went to the Dunkin' Donuts. The only people who were at that Dunkin' Donuts 24 hours a day was crackheads doing deals. It's the, literally the only people that was. And they finally got rid of that place and put up a condo. Dunkin's is trash? Okay, I'm glad y'all are admitting it. So your Dunkin's is definitely our Tim Hortons. Ugh, swill in a cup. Fuck. Hmm, trash. Okay. Okay. Trash, the workers are rude. <laughs> well, 
Starbucks and DD both sucks. Yeah. Yeah. All those like commercial coffees. They don't know how to make a cup of coffee. It's a matter with them. I'd rather have McDonald's. I I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Hmm. Miss Movie Buff, thank you again for the super chat. Damn jealous of the te- of the cheap gas. That's cheap. <laughs> it's like a hundred and something US dollars. Oh my God, how much do you pay? Wow. I'm gonna switch the laundry. At the laundromat. Carly's gonna sit and eat her breakfast sandwich. Whenever you come to the laundromat, always give this an extra spin when you empty it. Make sure nothing's stuck to the sides. Who is she teaching to do laundry? Well, this is how much time is left on the machine. And make sure you look for your loose socks. Like, thanks, slushy. So now we have like 30 minutes. One, two, three. Okay, Izzy, Izzy, I'm not I'm not trying to defend Lushy by any means, but I don't think she went into the gas station. You just pay at the pump. Like she's just on the outside of the car, right? You pay at the pump. You put your little card in at the pump. You're not you're not actually going into the gas station. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she's naming them off and filming them in that way that she likes to pan over. Um, is this like, you know how she always tries to outdo herself with the with the carts, the shopping carts? Does she also try to outdo herself with how many dryers it took? It took me ten dryers last time, so I'm trying to get to eleven this time. Sad bear, thank you for the super chat. As someone from a huge family, 10 plus, I still don't understand how she cannot shop correctly. Getting one of something she needs more of and 20 of something she needs one or two of, annoying. Agreed. But you have to keep in mind where most people who have a large family would be shopping like in terms of getting deals, spending the less money, the most efficient, less times in and out of multiple stores. She's doing everything, number one, for the content. Number one. So. You have to keep that in mind too. If she bought everything like in bulk or or organized, how would she go to Wegmans and get to use the employee entrance every week and fill up those eight carts? 11, 12. Okay, so I got all the laundry. This was empty. All the laundry. I load it in the van. Harley has had enough of running errands, so we're gonna head home. All right, we're home. We're trying to figure out how to get Harley out because I closed her in. Come on. Okay, Josh is home on his lunch break. Oh, yeah, Miss Movie Buff. Thank you for the super chat. Still over five bucks in my area. Y'all pay per gallon, right? So it's like four liters is a gallon. So it's over five bucks a gallon in my area, too. Hmm. Try to not hit his truck. Um, so he's going to watch Harley. Let's stay home with Harley. I mean, he's her dad. He's not really babysitting. Um, so I can go to Patrick's meeting without dragging Harley along. We have a crazy amount of meetings for our kids. 11 of our 12 kids have IEPs, which is an individualized education plan, which requires a lot of meetings and a lot of paperwork. Um, And the purpose of an IEP is just to better meet their academic needs, which vary across the 11 kids. Uh, Anything from learning disability to anxiety to whatever, ADHD, anything. Um, I get a lot of questions, people wondering how they can get the services that their children need um, in their school. And what you need to do is request that the special education department does a full academic evaluation, um, legally 
the school district has 60 days to fulfill your request. And it, what it is, is they just run a bunch of different tests and see where your child falls to see if they could benefit from some extra support. We have. Ah, uh, interesting that she put that in for once. Okay. Or something, something like that anyway. Now, on the one hand, it's like, why are you telling the kids business about them? like needing or having even IEPs, like, like don't even tell people that much of their business, but this, this kind of a thing, she, she just maybe gave someone some valuable information there. Leave aside, uh, it's gross, but leave aside the fact that she had to bring up that all her kids have the IEPs and stuff. The information that she just gave could actually be useful to people who are watching. And I find that there's never anything at all informative, just useful at all from her content. That's one of the first times I've ever heard Lushy say something like that. Give out just general knowledge based on, she used to be uh, like um, a teacher, a special needs teacher. I, I don't really know what like, what you'd call that, right? She She does have, information that maybe a lot of people wouldn't have she could you know just give more of that to the audience get it would it would give a little substance to the content and i'm sure that people watching there are some people watching who just had a takeaway from what she just said that was good information she never gives good information lean into this lushy but next time do it without telling your kids business have a lot of meetings, but thankfully they're right down the road and they go really quick because I used to be a special education teacher and Josh is a special education teacher. So we know all the lingo, we know all the services. So these meetings go fairly quickly for us, but um, yeah. See, but like, like, that's what I'm saying. Use that more. That that's an asset to you. Even if you're not teaching anymore, you now have this family channel. Who, who watches in general family channels? People who have families of their own, people who have kids of their own. Like, I don't know. That's who I tend to imagine is the, the majority, the vast majority of her audience. People with little kids, people who are also maybe home watching their little kids and watching you during the day. This is the kind of stuff that might be useful to your audience. So take that degree, whether you're using it to teach now or not, and use it for some kind of other good. Pivot with that information. You still have the information and that information could be very valuable to people watching. Now, if anyone has questions about any of that kind of stuff, it is something that we are both well-versed in and can definitely help you with. So she wants to use this sheet. Charlie her here playing with Okay, this is petty, but I, I'm sometimes petty, you know. When you make your bed, do you just throw... Okay. No, wait. You've seen the bottom of this family's socks. I judge floors, okay? When your socks are filthy on the bottom, to me, that's a dirty house. It is what it is. This family, oh God, those socks are like yuck. Just yuck. When you change the bedding on your bed, would you throw the pillows and stuff on the floor? I don't have a black sock house, I'm just saying, and I would never. I put the pillows on the dresser and that's where they stay and I change the pillowcases. Ew, that's just so gross. Why would you do that? and it's like a bunk bed hold on hold on let's just look at the situation here even if there's no space although she's standing right next to a dresser right there right next to her uh even if the top of the dresser is full or whatever and you don't even want to put the pillows you're, there's a bunk bed fling the pillows onto the top bunk what are you doing lushy no. Oh, and the clean sheet, by the way, she's changing the sheets, okay? The clean sheet that she is going to pick up to put on the bed is on the floor right now. Ugh. This one is a dragon one. Why are the 
there's stuff inside of those? I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. And there's what's inside this one. Are you inputting mattress protector on Jinx's bed? Because the dogs like to sleep on that, even though we don't like to sleep. Slow cooker pork chops. I don't know. This is a new recipe. We're going to try. I got. Okay. Now the, the, I, I cut out her picking up the thing off the floor. My bad. But uh, yeah, the, the blue sheet that she replaces onto the bed was on the floor. And she picks it up huh, and puts it on the bed. And it's just gross. Um, here's another thing. Lushy has let people know before in her videos that some of her kids pee the bed okay which was so she got so much heat like why would you say that so in your content after getting all that heat maybe you maybe call it a mistake the first time you told everyone okay but now you've gotten all that heat that's an edited video that's an edited video and you left it in the video putting a mattress protector on the bed and you gave some story, which even if the story was true and it's like, yeah, okay, the dogs do sleep on that bed. Why, when you've already gotten crap about mentioning that certain of your kids pee the bed, would you, I'm going to put a mattress protector on Jay's bed. And you even like point out whose bed it is. It's, it's like you want these kids to be tormented online or something. I don't, I don't get the point. Why would you make it worse? You know what I mean? For you because even if that's not the reason for the mattress protection, even if the dog thing is true, for the love of God, cut that out of your video. What are you doing to your kids, man? Omnipotent mama, thank you for the super chat. Oh my god, please never make that pork chop recipe again. I'm still traumatized by the marinade. Oh, I've never seen anything like this. That's why it's the, the thumbnail of our video. I've never seen a marinade. If you want a marinade, the, the, the gravy, the sauce, it's um something else. Two family packs of pork chops. And we're going to dredge these in a dry rub. I know I said this when she bought those, but I've never seen such a thicky pork chop in my whole life that looks like something from the Flintstones. It's like it's like a joke of a pork chop. I, what is that? Why? Brown them. And then they're going to go in the crock pot with cream of mushroom soup, chicken broth, Worcestershire sauce. That's easy. And onions. All good. Perfect. All right, I'm going to start with my flour. Got to fill that up. Pepper. That's just going to be so bad. Right, and then if you bought, hang on, wait a minute. All right. You know, you know, I don't like pork. Okay. But I'm assuming por pork must work like every other meat. So it's like, if you buy a thicky steak, the thicker it's getting, the more you're paying for that steak. I'm assuming it would work the same way for pork chop. So those pork chops are probably, I don't know, to be what barbecued or like something, something more than just thrown in a crock pot. Wouldn't the beauty of a crock pot slop be that you could put in kind of like cheap cuts of pork or like, like the thinner, maybe like cheaper pork chops. It's, it's expensive. Like this, these have to be the most expensive pork chops you can buy. And there's like no reason at all to throw those in a crock pot slop. I'm going to get the olive oil heating up in this pan. Flour and paprika. Ma'am, there's right. nowhere near enough paprika for the amount of flour. Oh my God. I got my foil liner. I'm gonna spray that so that right after I brown the pork chops on both sides, I'm gonna put them right into my crock pot. That was a lot of Pam. That was a lot of Pam.
Oh, I'm not crock pot shaming. I've seen some pretty good looking stuff come out of crock pots. Uh, I'm specifically lushy crock pot shaming because she only makes slop in a crock pot. Wait until you see this like gravy stuff that she makes. I, I it's it's a crime against humanity. Should have used a bigger plate. God, the flour is everywhere. Oh my god. I hate her cooking. Why does she cook so bad? Yeah, take your rings off, get a bigger plate. Everything always done on paper plates. Oh my god. Plastic. Okay, let's see if these are browned yet. Browned? How are they going to brown properly? There's no space around any of them. They're all smushed together. My God, let them breathe. Yes, too many ports. Oh my God. <laughs> this is this is browned meat to her. <sighs> God damn it. Lushy, give them space and let them cook a little. Come on. Oh my god, what is going on in this house? <sighs> ah, the scraping, the scraping of the brown goodness. <sighs> Deglaze the fucking pan, Lushy. Is this the first time you're cooking? How? Come on, man. I have anxiety. My palms are so sweaty. Why do I hate watching her cook? I hate every step of it. Like everything. Oh, from the, the boiling of the pork chops to this, to what, oh, listen, it's just because I know what's coming with that, that, that gravy stuff she's making, but everything she cooks always looks like such swill. Cokey versus Lushy. Oh my God. Iron Chef. And it's those two going at it. Uh, I would pay money to watch that. I would super chat the hell out of that. Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat. She's going to set them on fire, a la Koki. Yeah, Koki set Dee Dee's stove on fire the other day. It was so stupid. I didn't even know, like those flat top ceramic uh, stove tops, I didn't even know you could set it on fire like that. That was really something else. Our chops in here. I'm going to put them at like 400 for an hour, and then I'll put it down to probably in here to 25-ish for two hours. All right, I'm going to use this whole can. Okay, here it is. This, this, this is her gravy, okay? First of all, it starts with a can of this gigantic can of, of broth. Ooh. Of chicken broth because, like I said, my crock pot is big, and I want to make sure that all of these pork. Mm, I've first of all, I've never even seen a can of broth that big in my life. The only cans of broth I've ever seen are made by Campbell's, and it's like a normal soup can size. I I've never seen anything like that. I love the little floaty, fatty looking bits in it, and now she's opening cream of mushroom soup. Chops are covered with the sauce. If you have a weak stomach, I should say, step away right now. You have like 10 seconds to step away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. 
is not really mixing. This is not really mixing. I know without knowing that you did it wrong. What is that? What what is that? Oh, that's not really mixing. Oh my god, that should be illegal. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've never made anything like this in my life, but just going off of logic and the way things work in life, wouldn't it have made more sense to on an open, like, like on the stove in a pot, dump in all those cream of mushroom soups, stir it up a little. And then as if you were making cream of mushroom soup, you know, where you add the water as you're whisking, you whisk in the broth. <sighs> What is, what the fuck is this? this? This is real. This is real. She's, she's really on YouTube right now. This is her content. She made this swill. Not only she's going to feed it to the kids, but she left this in her video. <gasps> no, Lushy. No. Oh my God. You know, when you guys were talking about septic tanks earlier, in my imagination, because I know nothing about them, when they come to empty your septic tank, this is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm going to do nine tablespoons of Worcestershire. Or whatever that was. Oh, that's a good idea. It might jump over. All right, this looks disgusting, but we're gonna put it on our book box. Why would you do that? <laughs> you just said this looks disgusting, but we're gonna ruin those massive pork chops with it. Just throw it away. Oh my god, get on the internet and just look for something else. You have everything in that house. Oh, if she went right now, you know, those Velveeta cups that I make fun of all the time with her. If she just went and took the Velveeta cups and threw that crap all over the pork chops, I have a feeling it would come out better than this. This is, this, <laughs> how could you put this out as content? This is on par with like Kay's cooking, but that's a joke channel. And this biatch takes herself seriously. Oh. The sound's not ASMR. Oh, you don't like slop? The slopping in the metal pot Ugh, of the lumps of cream of mushroom soup? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I will never stop making the puke noises. <laughs> uh, she killed Kenny. Hey, girl. Happy birthday. 31. Ooh, yeah. Enjoy your birthday weekend, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. Sorry for... Ruining it with delicious slop pot. <laughs> Happy birthday, septic tank content. No. Okay, I'll do it. Because I hate myself. Let's watch that dump again. Look at the chunks coming out of that gravy. Just look at the chunks, like, whoop, flopping down onto the pork chops. Mm. Okay, we're just going to trust the process here because I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Ma'am, that was not the process. Don't say trust the process when you fuck the process. Oh, my God. Why would she do that? You ever you ever tried just making something on a whim and it's like it's not working out? Wouldn't you dump it and start over? It's not like a, a I don't know she's she doesn't have any more uh, whatever things to that she could dress up a pork chop with. Why would you do that to yourself and your children? No wonder they always want to take out all those kids when this is the home cooking. What do you expect? Oh, I'd probably prefer a McDonald's too. Dahlia, thank you for the super chat. I'm late for my afternoon run. And man, I joined in at the wrong part of the stream. I was going to reach for some water, but now I think I need something harder and stronger. <laughs> what have you done, Lushy? Wow, what a moment to come in. Ugh. 
about this one. If this is a total fail, I will let you know. Okay, just ignore, like, it's raining out, and this is the, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a cool effect, but no, this is just the rain on my windshield. Anyways, we're at horseback riding. I can't talk when I get in there because I don't want to be distracting. But um, Bree is at horseback riding, so I'm going to show you her riding a little bit. And dinner. Oh, um, hang on. I think it's more than the Europeans that are offended at this point. I think every single person on this planet Earth is offended by that slop. Listen, I need a new word for slop pots because that's what I call them regularly. This this takes the cake. This is the worst thing she's ever done. This is a crime against humanity. Ms. Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. The sound of her stirring that slop. <laughs> Wop. <laughs> in the crock pot, I put the mashed potatoes in another crock pot so that those were warming up so that when we get home, like dinner is done. Uh, and Josh's handling everything back home while I'm at horseback riding. Uh, I do love that this one B gets to go to horse horse riding and stuff. She enjoys it so much. I always cut her face out when she's like coming towards her mom because I don't want to show the face. You know what I mean? But she's she's always so happy when she's up on this horse. Like it's like a grin from ear to ear, and you can tell she really enjoys it. It's nice that she goes there. Sad bear, thank you for the super chat. I totally agree. And I do think that's how you make kids who really only want to eat takeout and stuff. It's when you cook that crap at home every day, like everything you make is just God awful. And you don't like even try to improve on the cooking at all. Of course, you kids just want takeout. All right, I'm just warming up some peas, but the pork chops are done. And the mashed potatoes are warmed up. I got some applesauce. We're going to make floats every Thursday night. I make a like soda ice cream float combination. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get on to the next disgusting thing she's going to make, can we just go back to that for a second? I've heard of people eating pork with applesauce, okay? I know that that's a thing. I've heard that before. But if your pork is swimming in cream of mushroom soup, why would you serve that with applesauce? Those two things definitely do not, not even close to go together. Wouldn't that be for like a, just maybe a fried pork chop? Like some, a pork chop that doesn't have sauce all over it. But why would you do that to your kids? <clears throat> so sorry, this part is vertical because it's for TikTok. Um, and I'm doing orange soda with chocolate ice cream. But I want you to know, I always mute these videos for TikTok. And you're going to hear, this is the background. They're like, they're playing some game in the basement right now and they're like clobbering each other and you can hear it this is why this is why i'm always laughing in my videos because people don't realize in the background my kids are like having some hunger games moment i don't even know they got why wouldn't people assume that there's 12 kids in that house that's very normal sounds for kids it's nice that they play together these are playing children sounds like why are you apologizing for it and acting like people wouldn't know that that's going around in the background? If you didn't hear any like laughter and playing in a house with 12 kids, that would be more of like a red flag and an eyebrow raiser than hearing the kids playing in the background. What the hell? You only know how to exploit them. You don't know how to let them live in their own home. I'm sorry. They always make noise in the background. While she films for YouTube and TikTok. Cause she, sorry, this part is vertical. This is for the Tic Tacs. So YouTube, TikTok, but God forbid the kids are playing in their own basement. I'm sorry. Uh, Magical Cannabis. Thank you for the super chat. Certainly is. At this like ball gun thing at Dave and Buster's last night. So they're playing some sort of game with that. Anyways, wow. let's make some clothes. All right. Okay. Uh, and chocolate ice cream. I should let it thaw. Just okay. Uh, we were grossed out by this when she bought the stuff to make this, but chocolate ice cream in Fanta. 
why lushy why vanilla i get it i still don't want it but i understand the appeal it would be like a creamsicle okay fine chocolate ice cream floating in fanta that sounds vile just a little bit more but it's okay there. Okay. And Last God one. forbid you give those kids, you call them up to the kitchen and be like, here, take your, take your things before all the ice cream melts. No, no, no. Got to set it all up. Got to make the Tic Tac. jump okay you haven't done anything okay oh when she finishes all the folding of the laundry and she does a little okay when you've done something you put ice cream into cups calm the f down lushy it did like a two-year-old yes yeah that's exactly what it tastes all right. like <laughs> all right anyway so that's what it tastes like apparently a tootsie roll and two of them concur that is interesting that those two combos make a Tootsie Roll taste. Okay. I still, I will. Is anyone curious enough to ever try that in their life? <laughs> Not me. <Ooh. laughs> I did that a la Amberlynn, right? Clover? Mm -hmm. What was that little jump? The little jump is when she's like, I've done it. It's for her Tic Tacs. It's part of the Tic Tacs. But um, often when she does it, it's like she's completed a, a large task, like a, the morning routine is done. She's done all the lunch boxes and all the breakfast and like, yeah, I did it. Or like, I folded 76 loads of laundry. I did it. You put some ice cream into a cup, Lushy. You, you don't get one of your little ass pat moments for that. It was mid. It's kind of like, it's in the middle rating for us. We got to figure out an exact rating once everybody tries it. Dahlia, thank you again for a super chat. Listen, I love the combo of chocolate and orange. I like, you know, Terry's chocolate orange or any chocolate that has orange in it. Mm, love it. Just chocolate ice cream and Fanta. Just, it doesn't hit the same place as like a Terry's chocolate orange. I don't know. Not the same to me. Um, But some people are taking showers and this, that, the other thing. But yeah, anyways. Thank you for spending the day with us. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Ugh. So that was a day in the life. Every time we follow her around for a day, my palms are sweaty at the end of it. I know I have zero kids, so it's sort of one extreme to another, you know, but whoa, the anxiety. How do you even like relax in a house that hectic? I, I don't know. And you insist on making everything just more hectic, more stressful with the constant uh, content. It was from morning until night she was filming. When do you actually spend time with the kids when you're filming from morning till night? That's the question. Because like now you think, oh, well, she just turned off the camera. Maybe now she's going to spend time with the kids. No, now she had to go and edit all of the crap that she filmed all day, you know? Yeesh, yeesh. Okay, now we're going to get into a crapperty board because, you know, Lushy loves to make one of her boards. She did this one live and it got infuriating. So I really edited the crap out of this one. And uh, when, anyway, we'll discuss when Joshy comes in. He's such a wreck. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dr. D. Dozen. And this is my quick afternoon snackery board live, making an afternoon snack for my kids. But first coffee and i'm also multitasking right now uh i have the pork chops cooking for dinner tonight i just gotta get these in the crock pot really quick so hold on so okay do you remember that we just watched her make those pork chops we we watched her make this whole dish so let's let's understand what was going on here at the same time she's making youtube content TikToks, like standalone TikToks, and doing a TikTok live. And the TikTok live then goes on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. 
This is all happening at the same time. All of this is overlapping. When does she spend time with the kids? Hi. The only kid I have home right now is Harley. She's around. She, she's got a new thing going on with her hair today. Um, she did her salt. All right, so... She says that like it's some cute single thing. Shut out of herself. You probably told her to go and do it herself while you were getting ready for your filming all day. Uh, we know that she's alone with Harley today because we saw, uh, sorry, H today. Damn it. Uh, we saw them all day and at the laundromat and here and there going for breakfast. And okay. Again, you were with Harley all day, but you've been filming all day. Harley, uh, a, oh, fuck. I keep saying her name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. H just is kind of left to do her own thing all day. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what she's doing. She's around. She's four years old. She's just around. She's doing whatever, doing her own hair, living her life. Um, I've been with her all day. She's home with me all day. In theory, she would have my undivided attention. She's the only kid home with me. But I got to make the Tic Tacs. So F Harley. Oh, so I'm outside my board. I'm going to do no rules. I'm not done these in a while because we were, um, did you just see the way she cut open that bag of pistachios? She's so like absentee. She's never fully paying attention to anything she's doing. Watch her open this bag with scissors in her hand. Just the way she's cutting up this bag and staring at the chat of the TikTok. She knows I'm not going to be a while because we were, um, what the absolute fuck was that? <laughs> and that the way she just cut open that bag, that is what I feel about Alicia. That's sort of mm, how she does everything in her life that half assed and barely paying attention. You know what I mean? I think that very, very much defines who she is. You were out of them. Yeah. Yes, the walls are painted. Let me show you before I forget. I make a snack board most days. Yes. Okay. So this is the playroom. I haven't painted it blue this week. That's why I've not been live because my house has been. Oh, the dogs are barking. Okay, let them live. Um, so they finally they're getting their house painted room by room. Okay. Now she I almost just called her Chantal. When she gets really ridiculous, I tend to Chantal her. Um She's obsessed with her little brand, her online persona. We know this. She worked 15 years to hit it big online. She's obsessed with, these are the Doherty do a dozen colors. These are our brand. This is our brand colors, blue and orange. Take a wild guess what the two, two, the only two rooms that have been painted. Well, here we are in the playroom and it's blue. Miracle, that me. It's literally me. And then this is the entryway now. It is orange. What a surprise. Who could have ever guessed that you were going to be painting it orange? So you got a blue room and you got an orange room. And she's already talking about uh, painting the kitchen a like a different shade of orange, but still orange, still on brand. She's turning that place into like the hype house. The house is now branded in the colors of the family, the blue and orange. Can you imagine? The kids never get a break. Never get a break. That's their home. Like, this isn't her filming studio or something. You're constantly bombarded with the fact that your mom puts everything you do online and mom's priorities, the online and stuff. And now you wake up in the morning. You open your door of your bedroom and it's that orange shit just staring back at you. My God, you wake up and go to sleep in the Dougherty dozen stuff. It's just let them let them be, man. Let them have their house. <laughs> and Marie, how do you know about the hype house? <laughs> Hot wasabi. I've I've heard things, okay. Isn't it amazing? Anyways, yeah, I mean, we gotta hang up everything still because it just two seconds ago got done. Um, and then this, the kitchen and dining room is getting painted Monday. So I think I'm going to do like a lighter, I'm still deciding, but I think I'm gonna do a lighter orange than that. Like a. Of course you will, of course 
do well. And then you can film your little morning routines in your orange branded kitchen. It's just, it's like a joke. And yeah, DG, exactly. What calm and restful colors. Orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue to your face. Little kids, little kids. Wouldn't you be trying to calm the vibe looking into like calming, neutral colors? No, orange in your face. It, that orange is so offensive. To, it's just so bright to be like the whole hallway of a house. It feels like you're getting smacked with the orange paint in the face, you know, orange to the face. Very, very much lighter shade of orange, but yeah, it's, you know, it's not normal. Like Deshaun was like, I feel like most people just paint their house like basic normal colors. I'm like, that's not me. Yeah, that's D trying to pass you a message without saying flat out, why the fuck are you turning this into the hype house? What are you doing? This is not a clown, like a clown uh, circus or some crap, you know? There, it, it, there was a diplomatic way of telling you to tone it the F down and that they don't like it. <laughs> no, that, that's not me. So why don't you move the family out of this house? Keep this one for filming. You can lie to all of us and pretend like you still live there and pretend like it's the morning routine and stuff. Lie to us. But they, they, they shouldn't have to live like this. It's not fair. I'm not basically normal. I like. She is like the definition of basic. I'm not basic and normal. You, you are, you are so basic. Down to your fucking Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. You are so basic, Lushy. My God, down to the white claws constantly in your hand. You are the most basic of basic. I'm not basic because I like orange walls because it's branding of my stupid channel that finally let me hit it big on YouTube. Come on. Bright and happy and those two colors make me happy. Every time I walk down the stairs, it makes me happy. Thank you, George. <sighs> Auntie Lauren's on it. Um, yeah, I know. Just ignore the negative. All right, so I'm putting pistachio. <laughs> there was no mods at a certain point in their chat. Now, uh, just ignore the negative. Okay, Chantal. <laughs> they got that very much in common. Not all the negative is to be ignored. Some criticism is valid, you know? And after showing everybody that orange hallway, oh, I think it's normal that people, a lot of people would say, hey, what, what the F is this? Why not paint a neutral, you know? Oh, God. Why didn't she just make the kitchen orange? I would kind of get that. Okay, listen, the kitchen, if it stimulates the kids, who cares? But that's where she films most of her stuff. Make the kitchen orange and leave the rest of the house normal. Stashu is around this outer little edge thing. All right, now I'm putting blueberries around this edge. Apparently I'm going with a border theme today I don't know um I don't I don't think Josh will be Patrick's teacher um I'm not sure actually I don't think so but uh -huh. that was so weird to me I only left it in to ask you guys the question like here let's say if if uh one of your parents is a teacher that kid would purposely not be put into their parents' class. It's like a educational conflict of interest of some kind. I don't know. I don't know what the rule is, but like that would never fly here. It would be very purposely done, not put them together. They also didn't put siblings. If you were like twins, let's say, um, here in school together, they would put the siblings in separate classes. So it's like they could be individuals, you know? I find it very weird that some of the kids have been taught by Josh already and that maybe other kids would end up in Josh's class. That's very, very, very weird to me. I'm a teacher. The thought of leaving school and coming home to so many kids, right? Your lunchtime is supposed to be your break. Hmm. Same here in California. It happens in uh, Philadelphia all the time, really. I know a mom who taught their children. Okay. That doesn't happen here in Texas either. Okay. So it seems very like state by state. That's interesting. All right. 
He's one of Nevaeh's teachers this year. He's been Alex's teacher and he's been James's teacher before too. The days I do morning routine, I get up at four, 4.15. I got Josh um, Buffalo Bills tickets for this Sunday. I got him, I got this is where we're at so far. I got him a pair of Jordan's shoes. I got him um, pens. He loves fancy pens. So I got him fancy pens. Fancy pens for uh, Josh. Like those Uniball pens. I don't know. Oh, and a Nike outfit. Yeah, I got Josh a Nike outfit and I got Josh a Nike outfit. Mm, that's that's a good point. Butter crumpet if it's a small town, but like I th I I always thought Rochester was not a, a huge town, but I mean like it's not a small town either, you know. But maybe it's like a school distance thing. I I don't know. Maybe there's only one of that specific class at that school, and to not have Josh as a teacher, they would have to like go to a further school. I don't know how that works either. And I know in the states it's different than here, right? To, aren't you kind of forced to go to the school in your like zone or your district or I don't really know how they split that up, but like you can't just take your kid to another school across the city unless it's private school. Right. I, I seem to remember hearing that a while ago here. You can put your kid in any school, pri uh, pu public school, even like you want to put it outside of the city. Even uh, nobody cares. Nobody's going to stop you. You know, there's no, there's no rules about that here. You can be that, but oh, they make you pay. Interesting. You can if your district is open. Oh God, it's that's gonna be another thing that's like um state by state, then I suppose, eh? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I've got crackers. I'm gonna put pepperoni. And all right, got that. I'm going to put Oreos next. It's like a, um, it's like a major. Look at her. Look at her. She's so distracted staring at the chat. She's, what are you doing? You're about to put Oreo cookies touching salami in your board. Does that make sense, Lushy? She's going to stop herself, phew. But I mean, she's just so distracted right now. So distracted right now. She's, she doesn't even know what she's doing. She can barely even handle the crackers, the cookies, everything. Staring at the chat. If you just want to stare at the chat, don't do the snackerty board. Part of our food group. I'm so bad. Actually, I'm going to put these right in the middle. I'm drinking mixed berry and sparkling water. I am also drinking iced coffee with two cream and three caramel swirl. And I'm also drinking an orange Gatorade. <laughs> crackhead vibes <laughs> who has so many drinks going at once and who's taking like a sip off of a coffee and then a sip off of a gatorade and the, the, ugh, those things don't mix in the stomach that's just weird why do you need so many drinks going the the carbonated water with berry i i feel like she drinks those just to replicate the taste a little bit of the white claw <laughs> maybe it's her crutch i don't know but the coffee and the gatorade and everything hectic All right, here's the board so far. Oh, I forgot I have a pepper to cut up too. So, hello. Hi. Hi. So, yeah. How are you doing? Great. How's your day? I don't for a minute. She, she remembers, she, oh yeah, I have a pepper to cut up too. The pepper is such an afterthought because the pepper is just for the haters. Nobody, none of those kids are eating that pepper. That pepper is going directly in the garbage. But for the haters, we have to make sure that we put on one fruit and one vegetable. Hmm? Oh, it's such an afterthought. Right, right. That pepper. One pepper, 12 kids. Sure. Okay. Uh, I recently watched my first shopping video with just the Bells 10. And uh, it was amazing to me that more than half of the cart was just fresh produce. I also watched her putting together, not, not a crock pot, but like a cast iron skillet of food, like from scratch, literally homemade. Nothing came from a jar. It was just night and day. Oh, oh. Hey, 
Jimmy boy. I'm just talking about you. Was that some sharp cheddar? Uh, I actually didn't even know. Yeah, that's sharp. There's extra pieces right there. Hi. Ah, uh, here comes the goof. Oh, how much I dislike Josh. I need to know. Like we understand she bought him this shirt. It's the it's the orange. Does he wear an orange shirt to school every day? Does he have to wear orange? Is it orange or blue? Does she force him to? She might. I don't know. Does he like it? Are they advertising when they leave the house? The shirt says all I need to know about him waiting. It really, really does. Oh, my God. On the one hand, he looks like such a teacher right now. It's giving such, like, teacher vibes. But it's just because it's that orange. I was like, come on, Lushy. Let him live. Um, Josh turned 44 yesterday. Hey, add it up. It's, uh... The sink is off on the video from this point on, but it's her video. There's nothing I could do about it, so... His shirt uh, exactly matches the new color in the entryway. So it's kind of funny. He was pretending to green screen this morning. Oh, my hair looks good and healthy. Thanks. I appreciate that. It's such a good compliment. Oh, you're talking to my wife. Okay, sorry. Oh, I am taking my wife. Oh, that says take your wife. Yeah, oh. I am taking he's such a goon and he likes the attention i've never seen him like crave the attention of the camera like today oh no and that tie with that shirt jot you are so unlikable my god what is it about this guy he's just such a schmuck and that stupid voice oh there's something to do about about the accent when he opens his mouth and that accent comes out and he's standing there with that freaking orange shirt on you are such a schmuck from head to toe Taking her. She was my first person. I, I choose you. What? You know, you're sick of listening to me talk? I'm Fine. almost done. Here it is. I gotta go. Uh, All right. I am gonna let you guys go because, um, yeah, I'm done with this. And for some reason, Harley doesn't feel like wearing pants. So we're gonna go ahead and get off live. Um, but thank you for. Um, I don't want Oreos that are sitting on top of red peppers. So your Oreos are gonna be mushy. And tastes like a red pepper. Ooh, nice. Joining me, you're strong, you're beautiful, you're loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Horrific. Horrific. These snackerty boards somehow are getting worse. Oh my God. At least she used to pretend better. Ugh. Ugh. Oreos sitting on red peppers. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And like, not all the kids are even home yet and stuff. So what? They're just going to sit there getting all moist, getting all moist on the red peppers. Ew, so friggin' gross. Someone needs to do a parody, like a, a, a snackerty board parody, but just make it like 10 times more ridiculous. I wouldn't waste the food. <laughs> a long time ago, I had wanted to do a parody of Chantal's, um, what do you call meatloaf but the whole like the end would be me dropping it into the dog's bowls you know what i mean <laughs> i didn't do it okay shall we watch the prep for the birthdays <laughs> again keeping in mind that we just blew forty one thousand dollars on christmas here we are weeks later going all out again hold on let me get the tab Dacrity dozen and today I am going birthday shopping for Dash and Josh. They both have birthdays tomorrow, January 11th. Um, Dash is turning nine years old and Josh is turning 44. Josh is my husband. Dash is one of our middle children. Um, here's the did she really need to point out that the 40 and 40 year old was her husband? I don't really think that anybody thought that that was one of the adopted kids. I'm just saying, Lushy birthday list so the stuff that's crossed off actually i gotta update this all right so the stuff that's crossed off i ordered on amazon 
um, my mom got him this Oma. So I'm going to start at Target because I think I can get some of the stuff plus wrapping paper. Um, and yeah. I already got the candles. I already ordered the cake. I already placed the menu at the birthday party venue for dinner. So we're in a good spot. I just need to buy the presents and wrap them. I got most of the Amazon stuff in yesterday. But first, coffee. I wish you would stop doing that. Like when you, I'm sorry, if you put out 16 videos a day, do it once. You know, it, I get it. It's your thing, but 16 times a day, like everything that we're watching right now, it's all from the same day. And this is just a little selection of things from this day. Every time. Stop it. Again, I need nothing at the dollar spot, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to look. Actually, I do need... <laughs> well, shopping addiction, at least you're aware. I need nothing here, but let's go here anyway, because, you know, I love to waste money. I need some garbage cans, so I take that back. You don't tell Target what you need. Target tells you what you need. Like a unicorn. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the dollar store. It's like the dollar section of Target. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. We don't have Target here anymore. They tried. It came, it left, it failed. It didn't work. But it wasn't like the Targets y'all have in the States. It sucked. So, okay. Whatever. If you don't need it, just keep walking past the plastic junk. I'm Robert Ducky. All right, we gotta get a cart. Oh yeah, I see you guys commenting on the lipstick and stuff. I agree, it's just so dark. It's so dark for like, it's daytime, you know? She looks always so, it's so much makeup for daytime. I was not going to do Valentine's shopping today, but now I feel like I should because this stuff might not be here next time. It's just going to be a multitasking trip. Okay. Two, four, six. Because these baskets are too good to pass up. One dollar. I'm going to grab some garbage cans the kids have been asking for. Oh, yeah, DG, I agree. There is some some things, some behaviors of Lushy that does give Amber Lynn vibes. The, the touching of everything. The We don't need it, but we're going to buy this stuff because it's cute, you know? Ugh. For them for their rooms. Okay, I'm going to get the gift cards next. Okay, there's the apple ones he wanted. Just wanted some of these. Oh, 100. Oh, that one's been opened. We're not going to get that. We get two of the 50s. Well, yes, I do remember the Target on Alexis Neon that took the place of the Zellers on Alexis Neon. Aha! Well, you're from Montreal. <laughs> Absolutely. But it was so disappointing. I was so excited that Target was coming here. And then I don't know if you walked around that shitty Target. There was like, they had nothing to even fill the store with, right? So let's say Tide bottles. This is the best example I have because this is what I walked down this aisle. Two complete aisles full of just single-faced Tide bottles. It was so freaking weird. And so blocks. I don't know. I guess. We'll get a hundred of those. hundred dollars. Let's just keep in mind that she's shopping for the nine-year-old. So that's 200 bucks in gift cards. Just, just that's the first thing she's putting into the cart. She hasn't even really started the, the birthday shopping yet. $200 worth of gift cards to a kid who weeks ago just got gift cards and all kinds of other crap for Christmas. Oof. Okay. 
Let's see what we have for wrapping paper. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one for dash. I got the skip bag, tissue paper. You know what? Oh my God, that woman. Wow, that brings me back. It was like the Zellers at Cote de Neige Plaza. Cote de Neige Plaza. I hate Cote de Neige. I have a bias against Cote de Neige. And it's been since I was a kid because back in the day when I was a kid and not everything was purchased with debit cards, people used to actually have cash, right? My mom went with a pocket full of cash to the Zellers at Cote de Neige Plaza to buy me and my brother our Christmas presents. And she she was like... a like accosted by a group, let's say of pickpockets that she didn't even realize what was going on. Somebody distracted her with a kid and had her help pick out the size of the socks for the kid while somebody else at now she realized what had happened, brushed up against her and like, oh, I'm sorry, madam, and pickpocketed the cash right out of her pocket. And she came home crying and it was like a whole fucking thing. And this is like, I don't know, 32 years ago or something like that. And to this day, I hate Cote de Neige because of that story. Their birthday party is in an arcade. So I think I'm going to get these. And that way we can tell all of the birthday party kids like that they're part of us. Okay, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, um... Yeah. It's a, a, another thing that really just bothers me with her because it's always plastic crap, right? But you, you're having the birthday party. Okay, I see the logic of giving them all one of those necklaces because, yeah, at a place like David Buster's or whatever she's going, um, it is easy to lose track of all the kids. It's a lot of kids running around. Okay, you counted out how many you need. You picked enough for everyone and you had already a couple of extras in the count. Why did you have to grab more? Just so that there's always going to be too much, always going to be like over extras and stuff. She's just so wasteful. What are you going to do with those? Throw them in the garbage. Because at Dave and Buster's, it's kind of hard to keep track of everyone. And he's got his classmates coming, plus my 12 kids um, and cousins. So that's a lot of kids to keep track of. Oh, just remembered I promised Bree I would get her. A little drawer. Look, I, I get the logic of that. I'm not saying anything about the logic. It makes sense. You want to quickly just glance and see, oh, yeah, that, that's one of them. That's one of them. Okay. Just, it's the over waste. It's nothing about that she did. That is kind of smart for Lush. She doesn't usually think that far ahead. She's getting like this big organizer thing from Oma for her birthday. But she also wants a little thing. Let me look. I'm going to guess this size. Target is, um, I don't know, going through some restocking or something. That's interesting. Shadow um, of Yaharn. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Um, I wonder how much she makes in a month. That is interesting because, listen, I don't know how much things like TikTok pays. I know nothing about TikTok. And she's so into TikTok, it must pay her something. However... Lushy never does things like live streams or things like that. And her, her content is very, you know, like, uh, advertiser friendly and very vanilla. So I would imagine that her social blade, you know how there's always a range on social blade. I think hers would be closer to the high end because yes, all of her stuff is monetized. You know, it's very, very advertiser friendly. Um, I think the higher end of what Social Blade shows would be a pretty accurate uh, amount. All right. Trying to find my way over to the toy section. Let's see. Oh, does it really? Okay. Wow. Okay. I think we already have a gold one. Um, so, yeah. Let's get this black one. Oh, it's heavy. And it's locked. So that's new. They were not locked in October when I got them for the twins. Okay. How do I get someone to unlock them? Okay. Someone's coming to help. Okay. We got it. He said they'll take that off at the register. I'm going to look at the Valentine's section. 
That will look cute in their baskets. She makes them Valentine's. Uh, like, uh, I don't know why I'm surprised, but it's just... Who cares about an Easter basket when you just had a Valentine's basket the month before and then the month before was birthday month. So you ate birthday cake every day of the month. And the month before that was Christmas. Like, when do you even give the kids a chance to appreciate anything that they have? It's so stupid. And everything she's going to buy now for Valentine's is the same crap she'll buy for Easter. It's just for Easter, they slap a bunny on the top. And now look, it's hearts. Eh, same crap, different holiday. Ma'am, ma'am, go to Costco. This is stupid. Oh my God. Yeah, oh no, no. M&M's. Oh my God. We've never seen an M&M before. We got to grab them now. <sighs> She's going to go shopping oh, 16 more times between now and Valentine's Day, but no, no, got to buy them now. All right, M&M's. That seems weird. I can't wrap my head around that one. Mm -mm. <gasps> what a heart shaped waffle getting it why that's so dumb if you make waffles you got at least 14 to make what are you doing with a one at a time mini waffle maker that Oh, they already eat cold food for every meal. You're going to make this take longer? And you know that it's not going to be like, let me make one and then you take it. Let me, no, no, no. She's got to line them all up for the Tic Tac. So they're going to wait like hours for those freaking waffles. Okay, this is eight cards. So I need two of these and I'll write each of them a card. And I don't see it here either. Do you remember how many games she bought at Christmas? We were all commenting because it was, you. Ugh. it was like, and that one and that one and that one. She should have just told the guy like which one she didn't want to buy. She bought like every game that they had. It's been three weeks. Three weeks later, we're back to buy more games. Have they even opened all the games they got yet? Have they played with them? I doubt it. She's insane. Michael Furberger, thank you for the super chat. And it looks like they are out of the switch lights, which is what Josh wanted. All right. Uh, just notice, notice something with the gifts that she's buying for Josh specifically. I'm not really commenting on the stuff she's buying for the kids besides how wasteful it is. Josh wants a switch because all the kids have a switch. Then we're going to go to a sneaker place because Josh wants the same sneakers that all the kids got for Christmas. Then we're going to go to another sports place because Josh really likes the uh, Nike outfit that D got for Christmas. Or whatever. Josh is a fucking child, a grown ass baby who wants everything that the kids have. He's jealous of what the kids got. And she's now going around buying him one of everything that the kids got for Christmas. Dash wanted a pair of gaming headphones. Okay, I think these will work. I'm doing a self checkout. We are super busy today. I think she scanned that first book twice. <laughs> I hate self-checkout. God damn it. But I'm so aware of this thing. Let, let me just hear that double beep again. She she scanned that book twice. Super busy today. I'm doing self-checkout. Idiot! God, oh my God. Lushy. Do you not have ears? Are you not paying attention at all? She's not. She's too busy filming. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Everything that this woman does gets under my skin. Super busy today. Can you guys still hear me? Because my YouTube just completely crashed. I hope you can still hear me. Uh, our chat is still moving on the stream yards. You can hear me? Okay, great. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm in this plaza, and there's like a Home Depot down there. I'm gonna go there next so we can get Josh's wrench set. Oh, there's still a laundry basket. Awesome. This was one of our Halloween buckets that has now turned the designated van puke bucket. Don't worry, it's clean. The designated puke bucket. Oh, no. Why would you tell us that? <laughs> Is nothing sacred in this family? Not even your communal puke bucket? Yeah, the dirt in the car. The state of that car is just <sighs> something else. Oh, my God. When she's driving around, uh, I forget where. Is it this video or the previous? I, I've watched so much of her content in the past two days. She pans down to the driver's side door. And you can see the crap, just the, the stuff under her feet in the driver's seat. That's dangerous. Like, you can't have that. What, what would it take? Just empty it out. All the money you love to spend and waste and stuff. Go and pay someone to clean that shit box out. What's wrong with you? I can't really get bags. I should have brought my bags in. I did not think. My hair is so staticky. But lucky for me, I keep dryer sheets in my van because I go to the laundromat. So we're just going to hit this with a dryer sheet. Excuse me, what? What? What is this? What? What's happening here? 38 years old, I'm either about to learn a real trick here or... Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Is this a thing? I'm I'm sorry. I'm just in the chat right now. Okay. Nobody's ever heard of this before? It's a thing? I mean, it does make sense, but... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's some crackhead energy. I've never seen this in my life. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I'm allergic to those, like, bounce sheets and stuff. I have never been able to use those in my life. I couldn't do this, but... If that works, like, that's pretty fucking cool. And you would go around smelling like a bounce sheet all day. I love the smell of them. I can't use them, but I'll, oh, when you smell someone who smells like fresh laundry and bounce and stuff, oh, I love it so much. Oh, my God. Dryer sheets cut static. Yeah, I didn't realize it did it on the hair. I would have thought it made your hair kind of like, I don't know. You know when you touch one of those sheets and you have, like, ugh, it left in your hand after? That ugh will just get in your hair. I don't know. If it works, it works. It just seems weird. All right, let's go over to Home Depot. And then the mall. What time is it? Okay, 12. Alma has Harley. And I have her until about 2. 15. She has to go to Home Depot to buy some wrenches for Josh. Gotta beat the clock. Well, plus I want to get this stuff into the house before Harley gets home. All right. So it's turning into the most random birthday haul video ever because I'm going to Home Depot and I just realized we just got our locks changed on our house. 
So I'm going to get new keys made too. Just riding around filming with no seatbelt on as the thing beeps in your ear to let everyone know I'm just driving with no seatbelt. Such a fantastic role model. We are multitasking today. We can do it. Multitask that effing seatbelt on you, lunatic. Shame me tell you. We have two ice makers at our house. Like a countertop one and uh like in fridge one. Both did not make ice last night. Both of them. Now, if you know me, you know that I survive on having iced coffee, like three giant iced coffees a day. I didn't have iced coffee this morning. My day is just starting now. I, I hate so much when she does these little segments, let's call them in the car. This is this is what she wants to be doing. She, she doesn't even want to have to be making content about all the kids. Let's just be real. She wishes that she had hit it big on her own with this bland personality. This is what she lives for. These little moments talking about herself all alone in the car and like over dramatizing it. And she thinks right now, mm, I got my hair and makeup on point. I am living my influencer dream. Everybody wants to be me. It's they're so bad. This this is to me is the most laughable parts of her video. And this is what she lives for. <laughs> Julie, thank you for the super chat. Make a good day. Okay, so I'm gonna get the keys made first. This little key machine. Insert your key below. Please insert and hold your key below with the team facing mine. Now, I don't know really about tools, but I feel like we have a zillion wrench sets. I must be wrong. I don't, I never find this cute either. And I know this is such a personality thing for a lot of women. So uh, listen, if this is you, don't get offended, but it, this pisses me off. Okay. I cannot stand when women act like completely useless around a tool or a car or like, even if you are just fucking bluff. Okay. It's not cute. It is not cute. You're not 19 or 20 year old little Bambi out in the world for the first time. You, uh, you got all those kids. You're doing all of this. Don't try and act so fucking brand new in an aisle of tools. It's just, it's so obnoxious to me. My eyes roll back so hard into the back of my head while you play little femme fatale at the wrench sets. Like, yeah, Google it. Ask somebody. Learn something before you walk in. But it's, they don't want to. Because this is like a personality quirk in their in their minds. I just I've seen people like this before. Ugh. There's nothing cute about being useless. Okay, femme fatale is not cute. Once you're at like in your thirties, it is what it is. Nobody wants to see you act useless. But speed it up. Pick the one that you want. Pick the one that you googled about. Know what you're doing in life. It is what it is. Uh, and thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, happy birthday to you, 35. I know you would not be in the aisle acting all useless around the wrenches. <laughs> happy birthday, girl. Um, I hope you have a great birthday weekend. Wrenches. It is the only brand. Like, what are the difference? help is this a good wrench set for a husband okay <laughs> i've never hated somebody so much oh my god that whole sentence is this a good wrench set for a husband and the way she's holding it you aren't femme fatale cute this is the opposite of cute to me if I was that employee, I would go, ew, and walk the fuck away. I don't care. They're probably unionized. You're not getting fired for it. Just, who do you think you are? <laughs> Nothing cute about that. It's just so completely useless. <sighs> she pans over all them. What's the difference? Why are you here? Why would you go into a store and you don't even know what you're looking for? You don't know the difference. 
A visa get rent set for a husband? No, they're only good for a wife and he walks away from her or something. You idiot! <laughs> God damn it. It is because... <laughs> Random person walking by said it's a good set because it's ratchy. Ma'am, maybe he was calling you ratchy. <laughs> Just saying. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Did she not have someone yell to grab and hold? What? 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 Oh yeah, to grab the tools and hold the flashlight, right? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. She thinks this is cute. She's ratchet. I know. Well, um, that's what I was saying. Without saying, I think the guy said this is a good one for you because you are ratchet. And she's like, "Oh, they're ratchet. My husband will love them." Ratchy. That's a clever word. I like it. Okay. Over what? to the mall, which is right here. I'll show you. All right. I want to get Josh a pair of retro Jordans like the boys, some of the boys have because he loves their shoes. See, he wants to be one of the kids. He loves their shoes. He loves their uh, switch. He loves their, what's the other thing? The, the, the fucking Nike outfit. Why do you have to buy him everything the kids have? Dude, I he love my stuff. All right, these are the retros. Which ones do we think he'll like? Like, picture it. Okay, just pic picture it, picture it. Put yourself in the mind of a 17-year-old because you know how much all these little things matter when you're 17. You're 17 years old. You got your mom to get you the the, 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 the blue, whatever they called them. I forget. Varsity blue, I believe. Fancy, fancy, dancy shoes for Christmas. And now everything you get for Christmas one by one, you're... you're loser dad is like oh that was our call i want that too and every time he walks in the room he's got like another thing of yours you know what i mean i would be pissed i would be pissed. you go to leave your house there's your dad standing in the same sneaks as you i'd be like no listen you'll go put on your horrible shoes let me live <laughs> what is this i don't like that bad enough that all the kids always have the same of everything josh even has to have the same of everything Jen midlife crisis. I mean, it could be. He's a teacher too. That's a good point. Can you imagine you're a teacher at public school and you've got like a 300 and something, were they 300 and something or like 500 and something? I don't know, but hundreds of dollars worth of sneakers that you know all the kids want and you're just walking, walking through the school with their, with your sneakers and you got your, your switch under your arm. You know what I mean? Why would you do that? That doesn't, sound like a good thing for a teacher to be doing capricorn nj thank you for the super chat does he want the pair that light up when he walks <laughs> he would if the four-year-old has them that'll be what she gets them for the next present all right he's looking for josh and then i'm looking for a pair for dash too okay so i got the university blue for josh and i got the navy for dash i'll show you she has to pull them out at the mall. I hate when she does this at the mall. This is at the mall. This is like those little seats in the middle of the, 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 the hallways at the mall. She's pulling out the shoes. I always wish somebody would run by and just steal those sneakers. Yeah, I said it. I don't care. And another thing. If all of the, like, the older brothers got that university blue shoes, don't you think it would make more sense to get their nine-year-old younger brother the same as, like, the big guys got? No, she gets the nine-year-old a different color and she gets Josh, the overgrown man-child, the same color as the teenagers. You know how cool, like the nine-year-old, I'm sure the nine-year-old would like want the same things that his older brother has, you know? No, no, they're for Josh. Those are Dash's and there's Josh's. Okay, so I got the Jordans, running shoes. I got to look at Dick's, I got the wrench set. Got that, got that, got that. Those, I don't think they're even out yet. Uh, I don't think those have been released yet. I just realized I didn't tell you Josh's main present. It's a surprise. 
gives me no ideas, but I got MNT tickets to the Buffalo Bills game this Sunday. Okay, let's go in here. I don't know. They just have, like, really fun toys here. Okay, and we need this floor puzzle because he loves floor puzzles. Okay, almost done. Okay, I want to go in here. Some outfits and socks. Boys section is in the back. Oh, yeah, listen, listen. Angry Little Sponge, if they made those shoes in my size, I would love to have some light up shoes for my night walks with the dog, too. Uh, I'm not pooping on that. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to compete with one of my kids. I don't have any kids. So uh, that's irrelevant. I want them because of me, you know? <laughs> Joshy only seems to want everything that the older boys have. It's like he's living vicariously, reliving his youth. He wants to be 17 again. You know, it's just so fucked. Well, I do want to get Josh this outfit because he loved this outfit with Dejan's. Okay. See, there's the other thing. So he got the shoes because another kid had them. He got the switch because the other kid had them. And now, oh, he loved this outfit, this specific outfit of D. So I'm here to buy him the exact same thing. So the little bit of individuality that the kids have, nope, nope, no. Nope. You don't get your outfit alone because your dad's jealous. Okay, they got the low-cut Nike socks that Josh likes. Just going to grab those. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Got checked out there. I'm going to head home. Yeah, I'm just going to say this. It makes me appreciate the hell out of my own dad because like um like children of immigrants, you'll you'll feel me on this. It's it's like a totally different world. <laughs> my dad would never be trying to compete with the kids or like my dad if you handed him a switch he would be like what is this a telephone? Like he wouldn't even know what the hell it is, you know what I mean? I've never seen my dad wear a pair of sneakers one day in my entire life. It's just totally different. You know what I mean? And it makes me appreciate the hell out of him. Have some lunch. Get everything up to my room before Harley sees it. I got candles, I got wrapping paper. I don't need decorations because we're not having the party at home because uh our house is a disaster right now. We're having the entryway and the playroom painted, which sounds my dad tells me every day, you know, about the YouTube. He tries to encourage whatever you're doing, okay? And this is a very out there thing, the YouTubes. So he tells me every day, are, are we going to have a movie today? <laughs> he calls these the movies. <laughs> and he goes, ah, I woke up in the morning. I put on the bells. Like, what, what, what bells are you putting on every morning? I think the notifications, but like, you don't have to do that every day. But like, how do you even explain? I don't, I don't even know where to try to start to explain. So I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, what time is the movie today? <laughs> it's easy enough, but I don't know if you all remember when we had all of the coat and Chantal is junky junky to him. <laughs> um, for all of the kids' backpacks and coats and stuff. Well, anyways, when we took those down and switched them over to the lockers in the garage, it left giant holes, like holes he had to get like plaster, not plaster, but um patch you know to patch up the holes and we're like out of baby gate phase of life uh yeah no more baby gates harley's four so and amelia our kid's god sister who comes over a lot she's two like she no longer is gonna fall downstairs so the baby gates are gone well, when you take out baby gates, that also leaves giant holes. So Ivan, our painter, spent all day yesterday patching holes. And you have all those kids and you didn't put any of them to work ever. You got pa patching to do? You, you give every kid one of those uh, spatula looking things and you just tell them, go nuts. It's a fun thing for kids. I don't know. It sort of is. But you'd have it done in a second. Everything is so tedious with her. I don't know. She never takes advantage of all those tiny little hands in the house. What's the point? Just Ozzy, thank you for the super chat. If my dad had gotten the same stylish shoes slash clothes as me when I was a teenager, my soul would leave my body. Right? Same.
and like making the walls smooth and nice again. I am so excited. So he started painting today. He had just started the playroom when I was leaving. Anyways, um, it's a disaster because everything in our playroom is in the middle of the playroom or in the family room. Everything from the entryway is in the family room or like the, there's just stuff all displaced and that's just what has to be because before it can be nice, it has to be a disaster. So think. So she's not moving. That was the whole debate. We watched a video of hers about a week, maybe a week and a half ago. And uh, she was on live again, talking about were they going to move? Were they not going to move? And she wasn't even going to set up the playroom while she decided on were they yes or no going to move. That's weird. And a week later, you're painting the whole house and the playroom set up. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> If you're not going to move, I understand if you were going to move, maybe lying to the people. You don't want people even looking for where you might be moving to. But if you were going to stay the whole time, why didn't you just tell people that you were staying? What's what's the like intrigue there? I don't get it. Uh, Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Goodness, we're not having a birthday party at our house tomorrow. It will be at Dave and Buster's. just got to like, I got the email to pay the final, whatever. I don't even know. Cause I got the, uh, I don't know. I just ordered like kids food mostly because I, I'm guessing 25 kids and like maybe 10 adults. I'm home. Looks like we got some more Amazon mail. Okay. This is what I was talking about with the patching. It, it yeah, that was a lot of patching. What's going on in that house? A lot of patching. Oh my God. That's just a tiny little section of wall. <laughs> Maybe fixing it up to sell. I thought of that, but then when they painted the walls bright orange and stuff, I was like, oh yeah, there's, I don't think she's fixing anything to sell anymore. It is January 11th. It is Dash's birthday and Josh's birthday. So I'm just setting out the presents. I'm in Dash's room. I'm like sorting out Dash's presents on this side, Josh's presents on this side. And then we're going to wrap. Look at all that crap. And again, remember Christmas was three weeks ago. They just got a whole pile of crap each three weeks ago. I just thought of something. Oh, you know what I would do? Okay. If I was lushy, here's what I would do for this kid's birthday specifically because this kid's birthday is the first birthday of the year, like right after Christmas. And it's like, how much crap can you really give to kids? You remember when they went to New York and at the time I had said, wouldn't this have been better uh, instead of just going back and forth to New York a bunch of times with all the kids and not really being able to do something. You took them maybe three or four at a time to New York in little child travel groups, you know, um, what if instead of all this plastic garbage for Christmas, uh, for the birthday, considering Christmas just happened, what if you took the child on like a two day trip, just you and the kid one on one? I bet that kid has never had that much time with you ever in their life. And again, just because they just got so much crap for Christmas, it's not like they'll be missing out on anything. That is what I would do. And another, and another thing, 12 kids, 12 months in a year. Couldn't you make like one, you know, one month per kid and you dedicate time on that month to that kid? Will it suck that they'll have to wait a year to get a more solo time? Yes. But 
it's better than the zero solo time a year that they're normally getting anyway. So I don't know. I think these should be more priorities considering they get no time with their mom for things like birthdays and stuff. It should be prioritizing, you know, making a memory together, not just throwing more plastic garbage at your children. Me, Marie, fat ex prostitute. Thank you for the super chat. When I see jerks vlogging BS like this in public, I un, uh, I intentionally speak hella loud, cackle, or just uh, whatever noise I can think of to disrupt. Her bug eyes annoy me. Same Z's. Same Z's. Hey, FFG, my little super boy. <laughs> Thanks for being here, girl. I, I agree. I've seen not vlogging in public, but you know those people who are doing like TikToks in public? And it's embarrassing. Like, I'm, I'm staring at you like, wow, well, you, you're brave. I could never. This is why I don't have a vlog channel, Chantal. <laughs> I love the scissors in my Party. Yeah, you're right. But then she couldn't show it off like this on YouTube. And it would kill her, eh? For two two days to just not make anything for YouTube. God forbid the kids get a memory. Mm. Matching pants. Oh my gosh, those look huge. I'm not going to go on and on, but the waste, man, the waste. Why? Why? That's enough paper to wrap like two gifts, but whatever. We'll just waste it. And everything has to be wrapped separate. She would never grab something else small, like one of those games and check it in when she saw how much paper she cut. No, no, because for the TikTok, everything needs to be wrapped separately. We've been lucky with a lot of weekend birthdays lately. We normally have help doing this. This stuff downstairs. And wrap Josh's stuff. No, Mama Mayhem, from, from everything that I've you know, heard or read about Alicia and stuff. Neither one of them like grew, they grew up very modest. No, no spoiling. Very, you know, modest, right? Uh, she's like, you know, some people, they make money for the first time in their life and they lose their mind completely. It's a, it's like, if you never had money to spend, you, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's like it eats at you or something. I don't know. There's some people like that. You hear about some lotto winners who win multiple, like millions and millions of dollars and they go broke within five years and stuff. It's a real thing. Some people just lose their shit when they get a little bit of money for the first time. It's like, you don't know what to do. This is what's happening with Lushy, in my opinion. She's also an addictive personality. You have to know kind of whether you are or whether you aren't. She's an addictive personality. So the, the combination of like money for the first time plus the shopping addiction, it's dangerous. Oh yeah, that's the other extremely sad part to all this overspending truth. There are no 12 college funds. She's been asked about that before because a lot of people would see how much she spends on stuff and go like, oh, well, their college funds better be full of money. And she'd be like, well, most of the kids aren't going to college anyway because of like, it, you know, certain issues that each one has. They're not going to go to college anyway. Like, I don't need to put aside money for that and I won't put aside money for that. So instead of doing everything you can to try and encourage your kid and, you know, like going above and beyond and making those kids beat those odds. No, you've just, first of all, accepted that in your own mind. So you don't even have that money put aside for them, but you've also put it out publicly on the internet that that's how you feel about those kids. 
So when those kids stumble across that video, is that not the most demoralizing thing that you've ever heard in your life? Maybe some of those kids have like aspire to go to college. And then hearing your mother say that about you when you're young like that, that, that would knock the wind right out of me. What a horrific thing to say publicly. What a horrific thing to just accept for your kids. I don't know. This is what I'm saying. And, and I get it because I was also, I thought she was super woman for so long. But every time we do one of these videos, I get a lot of like hateful ass beaches in the comments. Like, oh, why would you rag on her? She's so great. She's this and that and that. And that. She's only so great until you realize what's going on right under the surface. Because for example, until you've heard something like that, who, who would, who would have ever thought? Who would have... And she was a teacher and her husband's a teacher. You know what I mean? Nobody would assume something that crazy, but she publicly said it on a live stream. Like, so until you hear these little things, until you've been along watching her long enough to pick up on these, these little moments that really show you who she is, I understand being like enamored with her. It all seems so great. Yeah, it is to a certain extent. I agree, Andy B. Like she is setting them up to fail or she's setting them up to just accept um, like the odds, you know, and I, I just think that's shitty. I really do. Even if like none of them like sort of beat the odds and end up going to college, you should be encouraging every single one to with everything you got in you to try to beat the odds, to always strive for more, to never just like accept uh, something because somebody says that's as far as you can go. That's so ridiculous. It's just, I cannot imagine a, a mother, a teacher putting that on 12 kids. It's so fucked up to me and not even saving the money for them to go to school or encouraging them to go to school or to want better or to do better. Well, you spoil the crap out of them throughout their childhood on money that you're not, you're not out there like learning or uh, using your degree to make this money. You fell ass backwards, luckily, into social media fame. There's nothing to guarantee that any of your kids are going to make this kind of money. So not only have you not encouraged them to strive for more or want to do better, you've also spoiled the shit out of them growing up. I'm telling you that for all of them, it's going to be a harsh, harsh reality one day when the reality of their real world is going to hit when she either isn't making the kind of money that she is right now on YouTube anymore, or when those kids grow up, get thrown out into the real world for the first time and realize like, oh, wow, money is hard to make and easy to spend. Uh, it's, it's going to be insane. It is. Yeah, that's a good point. So somebody put in the chat, like, what about give them a little nest egg? What if the college fund is just their little college, you know, like a college fund. And if they don't go to college, it turns into like the down payment of a house fund or like starting their own business fund or whatever, whatever they need to, to give them a little boost in life, give them a little head start. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be used for college either, but there's just nothing at all being like planned ahead. And that's, really fucked. 
Uh, Delta Saves, thank you for the soup chat. I'm a RN that specializes in care for disabled kids and adults. Even if they don't go to college, saving for their future care is important. Completely, completely agree. Yeah, first card, trade school fund, anything. Just, just something to give them a little boost in life, you know? It doesn't necessarily have to be college. There was three games. Yeah. And, you know, just to go back to it for a second, the trade school idea is a great idea because I, I know uh, schooling is much more expensive in the States, let's say, than it is here. But for, for a bunch of our country, like, um, let's say I've done both. I've done trade school and I've done university. My university courses costed me a hell of a lot less per year than trade school did with all the materials and all the tools and everything. Trade school was so much more expensive for me. University was easy to pay for myself, you know. Done. All right, let's bring this stuff down and wrap this upside down. If that's okay. And I'll show you the cake. Okay, here is Dash's birthday cake Nana and Papa just got here. I'm bringing the presents down. Oh, and here is the entryway. It's almost done. I love it. Okay, we got the presents down here and we're getting ready for Dash and Josh to get home from school and work and then we will vlog their party later. But thank you for coming shopping and wrapping presents with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Yikes. Well, that was sad only because we went down the phew of talking about the college funds and everything. But again, just plastic waste, blowing money on the wrong things, you know, throwing plastic at children. Here, here's more things that you don't need to play with. Have you opened all your Christmas presents yet? Instead of doing something with them, you know, one, take the kid, even if it's not a trip. Okay, that may have been a grandiose idea. I don't know. Spend the entire day with the kid. Have it from like morning until night. You have a, a an itinerary with that kid the whole day and whatever they want to do, it's about them. You know, give them a memory. You don't need more Nintendo games. It's ridiculous. Uh, is D an uh, adopted? No, D is a uh, biological. Yeah. Yeah. Shut the damn camera for a second, right? It would kill her. This is a great point, Sandra. FFG, Emily D. Baker struggled in school because of ADD and learning disabilities, but her parents still encouraged her and she became a lawyer. That's right. There's no limit. Like, fuck the odds. The odds, okay, okay, that's the average. Who wants to be average? You can push and be more likely than not beyond that average, but you have to strive for it. You might have to work a little harder for it, but put in the work, you know, like work pays off. If you have that kind of encouragement, if you just have like, oh, oh, well, okay, well, 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 I don't know. Sometimes it's hard for kids to like encourage themselves, right? That's the part of the whole idea of having parents and like a support system around you. There's people there to push you when you don't push yourself even. If the people who are supposed to be there pushing and encouraging you just fold their arms and go, okay, that that's, creates even another obstacle for that kid to actually achieve like greatness or more than you know whatever i just think it's gross they don't come they're not like the rockefellers we're not talking about some ultra rich family here who has like generational wealth and they're making their money from diverse uh, uh sources and stuff she's a woman with a youtube channel okay youtube everybody knows it goes away it can go away overnight you poof and you're gone but regardless like you only stay like popular on YouTube for a certain time. 
You're spending all this money on them now. You're not setting up anything for the future that we know of anyway. You're setting everybody up for massive, massive uh, disappointment in their life. I think it's wrong. I, I'll keep harping on it forever that I think this is wrong. You're not creating memories with the kids. We, we've been through this before too. You're, you're actively discouraging core memories from being formed because of the camera constantly in their faces. It's a massive difference that I see between her and Just the Bells 10. The kids in the Just the Bells 10 video, they look like they're happy to participate. They really, they do look like they're having fun, like filming with their mom or filming together or whatever. It's a different vibe because just based on the amount of content alone, that camera is not rolling all day. Core memories are being formed. You can see it. There, there's such a dynamic between all of them. The, the closeness, the, the, the warmth, the everything, it's there, right? You can feel the difference between the two families. And it's really, really sad. And I've been watching a lot of Just the Bells for, for a few days now. It makes this even more sad, you know? Just the Bells encourage the crap out of all their kids to always do better, always strive for more. They, they celebrate every little milestone of these achievements because of you know, of the encouragement that comes with celebrating those milestones. Alicia does the total opposite. It is what it is. And it's really, really fucking sad to watch. On B, thank you for the super chat. She spent 41K on Christmas, allegedly an 18-year-old with 41K savings could take a lot of stress off their shoulders trying to make a start. Well said. Absolutely. And if her social blade is accurate... She could set them all up with a hell of a lot more than 41K to start. You know, I'm just saying, I I don't know. I hope for all we see her spend, there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. I hope she's got something in her back pocket because if not, holy crap, that's 14 people going to come crashing down like that. Yikes. And F you and Josh. I don't care about either one of you crashing. 12 kids. Ugh, it's It's... It should be criminal <laughs> what's going on, in my opinion. I don't think it's right. Hey, anyway, listen, y'all, for today, that is all the Doherty dozen content we will be watching, okay? Tomorrow, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at a comparison, a little compare and contrast. Mm -mm. Um, the video from Just the Bells 10 about why they do not exploit their children online. And, and why it's not child exploitation. And uh, then maybe we'll watch a little Alicia just to <clears throat> compare the situations, all right? I, I, I Until anyone points out to me or I see somewhere something about these Just the Bells 10s, uh, like I'm getting deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole and I have seen nothing negative yet. Every day I only have more and more good to say about this family. So I really like them. Uh, it's nice to know that not every family channel is just complete garbage exploiting their kids and, 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 you know, wasting the kid's life. Like, uh, she warms my heart and I'm glad she's out there. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to be watching her. She's super positive. I can't wait. And yeah, then we can ruin it with Lushy. <laughs> Guys, thank you so, so much for being here today. It was a great time. It's so nice to not talk about um, <clears throat> she, she, who shall not be named. I feel so light, you know? Oh, it's great. Enjoy the rest of your Saturdays, everybody. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Be safe and keep your masks on. Bye guys.